Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekly international sales sharing uh, on every Wednesday, 3 p.m. at Facebook Live at IQI International Sales. I'm Mandy Chan, Head of IQI International Sales, your host of today. On behalf of IQI Grover, the Asia biggest real estate and investment agency, also a member of Juai IQI, I would like to thank everyone for supporting our program. So our program usually will feature some of the best projects in the various hotspots around the group. If you like our program, which you think that is benefiting you, do invite and share it with your friends. So today, we're going to talk about a 
project in Philippines. And I'm sure everybody is familiar with where is Philippines. So do give us a comment if you know where is Philippines. Perhaps uh, the audience can actually type one, okay, if you've been to Philippines before. Um, as everybody knows that the Philippines remain as one of the most potential investment hotspots among the Asian countries and also uh, a lot of investors are actually looking for the opportunity uh, when it comes to investment in real estate. So today we're going to share with you one of the investment opportunity, discover and European living in the metro of Philippines at One Sierra by PIK Group and Europe's largest home builder. So without further ado, let me welcome my two speakers of today, Mr. Andrew, Managing Director of IQI Philippines, and Brian, Executive Sales Director of IQI Philippines. Hi, Andrew and Brian, how are you? Hi, Mandy, good afternoon. Hi, yeah. Brian, Hi, good Mandy. afternoon. Good afternoon, sir, good afternoon. Yeah, so perhaps you can introduce yourself to the audience before we start the presentations. All right, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll start first. So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the International Property Talk. It's nice to be back here again. Mm -hmm. um, I think this would be my fourth time already. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, it, it's, it's, I'm always excited, as, as excited as everyone, to talk about the exciting projects in the Philippines. And like what Mandy said, I uh, met the Managing Director of IKI Philippines, and we're very excited to be here to show you another exciting project with uh, with a very good quality and I would say a value for money. Bray? Yep. Hello, Bye. everyone. It's nice to virtually meet you all. Mm -hmm. I hope that you're just as thrilled as I am about today's international property talk. Uh, I am the executive sales director at IQI, Phil Gems Realty Group, and I'm very excited to discuss the details about the One Share project as well. Great. So without further ado, the floor is on yours. So... Uh, maybe, Andrew, you will start on uh, quick introductions on the uh, Philippine markets first, right? Sure. Yes. Thank you, Mandy. Yep. All right. So, of course, earlier, uh, Mandy has mentioned that Philippines is a hotspot for investment, right? And since 2016, we have noted a lot of international buyers or investors mm -hmm. buying condominiums in the Philippines because of three important things. Number one is the capital appreciation or the property appreciation. In the past uh, 10 years, we have recorded a tremendous amount of uh, uh, increase in value of properties in the Philippines. And that's not just uh, in uh, the normal, uh, the regular CBDs or central business districts, but also in the emerging uh, districts or locations in Metro Manila. And another thing is that a lot of investors are happy with their investment here in Metro Manila because of the uh, rental high rental yield we're uh, pretty much second to indonesia when it comes to high rental yield at 6.8 percent but in 2018 and in 2019 we have recorded the highest which is around nine percent in bay area and also in makati area uh, and that is driven by the uh by the chinese market especially with the time that we have um uh, the, the the online gaming in the Philippines, and we're still looking at uh, that kind of rental yield by 2023, 2024, once uh, this pandemic is over, or once we were able to uh, find a better solution or ways on navigating around this pandemic. Uh, a lot of questions that we get from a lot of investors locally and internationally is that, uh, would it, is it still a good idea to invest in the Philippines? And of course, the answer to that is yes. All right, so um, like what I said earlier, number one, we have the high rental, uh, high rent rental yield of around 6% to 7% amidst the pandemic. Uh, second is that the capital appreciation, which is, it ranges from 15% to 25%. In 2019, we have recorded the 29.6% uh, year on year uh, capital appreciation. And that is something that uh, I would say not all Asian countries can offer. That's, that's why it makes Philippines as a hotspot for foreign investors. And then, of course, there's a lot of infrastructures that are being developed right now. Uh, one major thing is the uh, Mega Manila subway system, which will definitely um, affect the areas that it has a presence or where, where there are stations. Definitely, it will uh, bring in more developments in the area that will also lead to more growth for the property value. And then another thing is that uh, a lot of investors that we know are also asking, uh, Drew, during this pandemic, is it still a good time to buy and why? And of course, like what we said earlier, 
investing in real estate is always a good time any time of the day or now is always the best time to invest. And especially during the pandemic, it has created a lot of opportunities for investors. Number one is that a lot of people now are considering to uh, move to other locations outside the CBDs or the Central Business District, which led to the uh, idea for developers to create more cities or communities that are uh, well-connected or probably, uh, um, I would say, a mixed-use development that can actually uh, promote growth for the other areas in Metro Manila. So one, uh, the project we're going to launch today, which is very exciting, is situated in Mandaluyong City, which is right next to two major cities in Metro Manila, Bonifacio Global City and Makati City, which uh, property price are still very affordable compared to the two other uh, areas. And uh, there's a lot of flexible payment terms that developers are offering right now. Later on, Bri will be presenting to you the uh, very affordable and exciting flexible payment terms that one share or PAK has been uh, offering uh, starting uh, October 1, right? Right, October 1. Yeah. And another thing is that uh, this is just not a, a ordinary project. Uh, if you've been in Metro Manila, if you have invested in other developers or other uh, condominiums, I would say this one is something different because we're bringing in an international brand as well as international quality of deliverables. Uh, when it comes to accessibility, quality of the uh, project, and of course, the safety, security, and privacy, which are actually the main concern now during the pandemic, definitely this project will be the answer to that. All right, so I won't take it long. So I will let Bry, our executive sales director, to take it away and discuss the project, a one share by PIK Group. Go, Bry, take it away. Okay, sir, thank you. Just going to share my screen. So today, guys, I'll be walking you through the ins and outs of One Shara, a modern residential development where you can discover the best of city living. The company behind this, group, uh, the company behind this project is the peak group of companies, the largest real estate brand and industry leader in Russia. So let me tell you more about them. So Peak is one of the most reputable home builders in Russia, and these figures are a testament to the company's massive success. In terms of land developed, construction size, and market capitalization, the company boasts huge figures, and it continues to provide homes for over 1.5 million customers and more. Now, Peak has been in the game for 25 years now. With that much momentum, they are ready to expand from their home region to all of Asia. They are set to explore new territories, and out of all the countries in our region, the Philippines is the prime spot for expansion and you're looking at its first major move right now. The modern, sublime, and European development by the peak group has found its way home in our country, the Philippines. So without further ado, I am delighted to welcome you to the One Shara development. One Shara is a low-density condominium de development that stands in the vibrant city of Mandaluyong. It offers an absolute peak of city living formed by a mix of elegance, innovative spaces and conveniences built to the highest European standards. But you're probably wondering, why is it called one Shera? Well, Shera in Filipino means mountain, which complements the building's beautiful 30-story facade. But apart from that, it also highlights the development's landmark as the site directly faces the quiet street of Shera Madre. Speaking of landmarks, let's talk more about the residential towers location and neighboring spots. One Shara offers a big locational convenience as it stands along the EDSA, the main thoroughfare. And since it's in Mandaluyong City, residents will find themselves at the heart of the metro. Now, Mandaluyong City is now the commercially developed with a lot of central businesses such as banks, offices, and service establishments. Major commercial districts are Bonny Avenue, Shaw Boulevard, Ortiga Center, among others. And in the eastern portion of the city, it also has the famous malls and establishments such as the SM Mega Mall, Shangri-La Plaza, Podium, and San Miguel Corporation. You'll also find institutions like La Salle Green Hills, Poveda Colleges, Lourdes Schools here. And almost all businesses and personal services stores dominate the whole roads in the city. 
Needless to say, it won't take long for one share residence to get to the area's notable spots. And since there's an easy access to the expressways and central business districts, like Sir Drew mentioned a while ago, uh, it's located between Bonifacio Global City, Makati, and even Quezon City, hopping from one spot to another will just be a quick drive. But who exactly will benefit from this prime location? Let's talk at the target market. No? Um, one share would appear to the upper class target market. These are people who fall on these specific demographics. They are, they are the ones who appreciate high quality, um, good value, and understand potential gains of having well-placed investment property, whether it's for an end use or for income. To, to put it simply, these are people who share the same buyer sentiment. Their key motivation for buying a condo unit at one share is to enjoy the peace and greenery of Mandaluyong while still being able to access the CBDs and leisure points. Now let's move on to the building's lifestyle recreational perks, the vibrant sanctuary of amenities. Now, one Shara offers an exquisite array of curated amenities to help residents achieve and enjoy a calm state of mind. Whether it's the, uh, it is to stay fit in the gym, take a dip in the pool, or have fun with your family while doing recreational activities, you can find somewhere you can relax in the amenity deck. Here are some of the European-inspired amenities situated in the first four floors of the buildings. Now, that being said, the residential unit starts on the fifth floor all the way up. There are only 250 units, which makes it a low-density tower. It's much less packed compared to its na uh, neighboring residential towers like the Avida Towers Verge and Sentara, as well as SMDC's light residences that have a jam-packed residential units. All in all, Wanshara is one of the most low-density residential projects in the vicinity. On top of that, residents will find themselves in much more flexible spaces. Why? Because they are free to choose from a wide variety of unit cuts that suits their lifestyle. Let's start with their studio units. One share of studio units are the perfect space for starters. They are the ideal match for singles or the bachelors. No? Uh, unit sizes ranging from 31.91 square meter to 37.47 square meter. From an investment standpoint, they will also fit for those who are looking for condo units that are easy to rent out. Now let's move on to the one-bedroom units. Now the one-bedroom units, unit sizes ranges from 54 square meter to 57 square meter. They would be a great option for upgraders, partners, and even the bachelors who simply wants that extra space. Now for a growing family who needs a more conducive and a spacious unit, the two bedroom unit would be the most ideal option because the unit size is around 84 square meter. Here is the typical floor plan for the residential floor area of one share. And as you can see here, there will only be two units for a one bedroom and a two bedroom per floor and six uh, studio units in total. All in all, there will only be 10 units total per floor. Now, for tenants who plan to put up both living and workspace in one, there are Soho units or what we call the small office or home office they can also consider. This is a timely option, guys, especially now that we are in the new normal and many professionals are opting for a work from home setup. Here are some sample unit layouts for the studio and one bedroom and the two bedroom apartments you might want to check out. Clearly, these spaces have been carefully created uh, according to the European standards no? that highlights the company's immense attentions to quality, functionality, and aesthetics to bring effortless living. You can take note of these build components as proof of how one share has really focused on providing the European quality of living. Um, the efficient space use, uh, the ventilation, the natural lighting, and of course, the strategic placement of the leisure and commercial hubs on the bottom floors for easy access. The building designed by John McAslan and partners, who happens to be the lead architect for the project, is marked by sleek and contemporary elegance, 
Not to mention it's both eye-catching and sustainable thanks to its green building design. Now, the residential units are built with non-toxic materials as well as water-efficient fixtures. As for the common areas, sustainable design choices such as the rainwater harvesting system makes a, uh, a more eco-friendly lifestyle. And when it comes to privacy and security, one Shara checks all the boxes as it has put in place the essential measures to keep residents safe and always at peace. Now, I want to do a little bit of a comparison of one Shara to its neighbor, neighboring residential towers in Mandaluyong City. Uh, we'll go with Abida Towers Birch and Light Residences by SMDC. Let's start with the unit size of the condo units offered or the unit cuts. One Shara offers way more generous unit cuts compared to the two. Among the three, Light Residences offers the smallest unit sizing. Um, its unit size ranges around 16 square meter and the largest one is around 26 square meter. And Abida Birch comes close uh, at starting at 22 square meter. And the largest one is 31 to 34 square meter. In terms of density, one Shara is one of the most low density residential projects in the vicinity. As mentioned, it only has 250 units spread across the 30 story building. And if we are to compare it to light residences, which is a really jam packed development, one Shara definitely offers a more spacious uh, environment. When it comes to amenities, both Verge and Light Residences offer a standard amenity deck as opposed to One Shara's European style amenities. The latter offers more of a curated and lifestyle centric set of amenities. So the question you're probably dying to ask is how much does a One Shara unit cost? Well, there's actually a host of payment plans that buyers can choose from. They can acquire a property in this development through these payment terms. Uh, first is the cash 100%, and there will be the 5590, 5% down payment on the spot, and then the 5% will be paid through 60 months installment, followed by the 51085 and the 101080. Now, to give you a preview of what those payments really look like, here are some sample computations you can consider. We're going to start out in the studio units now. For the studio unit, um, assuming that the, the unit is 32.83 square meter, the total contract price would be around $147,178.41. And let's go with the payment scheme of, this is the cheapest guys, uh, the 5590. This is on promo right now. So the reservation fee is just $600. The spot down payment is $6,758.92. And your monthly installment for 60 months would just be around $122.65. Now, in the bottom, you can see that there is a first 12 months free. And yes, you've heard it right. This promo runs until November 2021. And there are only 20 units that are in this promo. Um, this is a mix of studio and the one bedroom. So for the one bedroom, the unit ranges from 57.4 square meter. The total contract price would be $251,078.76. Your monthly installment for this one is a little bit higher compared to the studio units because of the unit size. But the monthly installment for this is around 209, going up to 965.69. Now, please take note that the 51085 uh, payment scheme is not, um, it's not available in their promo. Only the 5590 and the 101080 is only in their promo, guys. Now, for the two bedroom unit, the total contract price is $339,249.41. And your monthly installment in 60 months would be around 200, starting at 282.71 going up to 1,304.81. Now, on an important note, is one share the investment quirky? If you ask any of our experts at IQI Philippines, the answer would be a resounding yes. The reason for that is there are more generous unit cuts 
here compared to its neighboring residential towers. Plus, the Soho units can be a massive appeal to the business owners and startup companies. Next is the prime location. It stands at the center of the metro. With quick access to the key destinations like the Edsa Boulevard, train stations, uh, commercial spots, institutions, and business districts. Another is tech innovation. One Sharda has infused smart features to its units, such as a smart key card access. Other sustainable build components also makes it a future-proof investment. And lastly, it's developed by an established and internationally acclaimed developer. And since this is the pilot project of Peak Group in the Philippines, buyers can truly benefit from a uh, premium development. All in all, One Sharda promises the peak of comfortable and dynamic city living. It takes all the great elements of European architecture, construction, and lifestyle, and it brings it into the one of the most vibrant locations in the Philippines. Whether for it's for investment or mixed use, One Sharda is definitely a great pick. Uh, thank you. Uh, that is my presentation. All right, thank you so much, uh, Bray. Now let's wait for Mandy for the Q&A. Yeah, Brian, maybe you can unshare the uh, slide. Yep, great. Yeah. So, okay. So you are talking about this location. So normally, uh, a lot of investors would uh, like to know that, uh, for instance, it's like in this case, it's like what sort of a render you that uh, you are actually talking about for these particular projects? Yeah, for the rental yield, Mandy, we're looking at around 6% at this mm -hmm. point. Uh, of course, the project will be turned over by 2024, 2025. Mm -hmm. And of course, right now, a lot of people are aware that the rent, residential rental is quite um, uh, suffering with the uh, increase of uh, availability in the market, which lead to a uh, lower rental rate. But mm -hmm. at this point, given the pandemic, we still have around 5% rental yield. Mm -hmm. So by then, by 2024, we're hoping that the market will be back and we'll be able to demand for a higher rental, which could be 6% to 7%. Okay, great. And what is the targeted uh, the attendance in, in this um, um, area? So are you targeted on the white collar or the blue collars uh, executive? Oh, basically for this one, uh, with the unit size that we are offering, we're looking at the families of uh, expatriates uh, in the area working in Artigas Center or probably in Makati or BGC. Like what Brian has mentioned earlier, uh, this will be a cheaper uh, option uh, mm -hmm. for those who cannot afford the rental in BGC and Makati. Definitely, mm -hmm. they can. Uh, this could be considered as their option because of the bigger spot, a bigger space, similar to the ones in BGC. But definitely, the rental rate will be cheaper. Okay. Yeah, and sorry, Go, I would also like to add on the, the those payment terms or uh, those are their standard payment terms. And if you have clients that wants to have their own payment options. Mm -hmm. um, we just need to have it approved to the management okay. or by the people. Great, that's fine. So beside, uh, beside the uh, contract price, right? any other uh, causes involved that when come to invest in this particular project? Would you probably uh, enlighten the audience? Because some audience might be pretty new to the uh, Philippine market, so they do not know what is the buying cost. And maybe in this case, you can probably just um, highlight to us uh, that some of the causes involved beside the contract price. Okay, so basically for this one, I believe there's a 0.5% uh, additional cost upon turnover, which will cover the uh, installation of the morale or the electricity, etc., and all the admin fees also. Okay, great. And the other thing that will this project come with uh, parking? Um, the parking is separate. But they have the unique parking uh, spots that they have. They actually embedded it in the style of Europe, which uh, the car goes into a, a what do you call it, Sergio? You uh, It's a uh, mechanical. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a mechanical sorry. entraption that it goes around to the top. Right, right. For yeah. your parking spot. Oh, okay. It's those like automated kind yeah, of automated, car park system. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Okay. So they are actually free to park. Uh, they do not need to pay any uh, fees for that. Um, actually, the parking spots are separate from the unit uh, price. And how much right. is uh, the parking lots that cost? Um, the, the parking lots, are, uh, the prices for the parking is around 1 million going up to 1.5 million. 
peso, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And is there any limitations? Like, let's say, for example, customer would to buy certain type of uh the uh the size of the uh, apartments. You actually allocate a uh more parking uh, lot, or there's actually a standard one. For this one, Mandy, I believe the one bedroom and the two bedroom units are the uh, preferred uh, to, to have the parking slots. Mm -hmm. But then if ever there will be an extra inventory, of course, as a studio owner, then definitely you can also try to request for the parking to be bought. Okay. But I believe there's a certain number of parking that we are only selling. Okay. And of course, a lot of people are concerning about because uh, invest in Philippines, uh, you actually can't get any financing. So therefore, uh, that's one of the options available is the payment options. So usually a lot of foreigner, foreigner will actually exercise the payment options, right? Yes, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. So uh, for foreigners, normally what they do is that they go for the lump sum payment mm -hmm. every year, which like what Brian has said earlier, uh, with the current payment terms that we have, uh, PIK uh, can customize also the preferred payment terms for them so that they will be able to cover the turnover balance. And all these uh, so-called payment terms, there's no interest charges on it, right? That is actually uh, as per what you pay on the contract price uh, based on whatever uh, options that you actually opt for. That's okay. correct. And then another point, Mandy, is that if ever... Uh, there are a lot of investors out there internationally that are aiming to have the bank loan, if ever. Mm -hmm. uh, our topic next, this coming Friday, is about the retirement visa or the investment or getting a retirement visa and buying a property in the Philippines, which can enable them eventually to get some benefits from uh, getting a bank loan. So please tune into that. Uh, that will be on Friday <laughs> night. So yeah. we'll be discussing that as another option for our investors uh, to, to get the bank loan or financing moving forward. Yeah, that would be great. So don't miss our Friday sessions at uh, 9.30 uh, GMT plus 8, uh, same page, okay? You can actually watch. Uh, uh, Andrew will talk about migrations as well as the uh, mortgage uh, in Philippines. Okay, back to this uh, project. So the other thing is like uh, in this particular area, right, usually uh, which type of the uh, bedroom are more... Uh, uh, I would say, uh, sellable or more in demand, uh, it, whether is it one bed or two beds, because uh, that's a concerning about like uh, which type of bedroom is easier to exit or easy to rent out. Okay, so I guess um, for this one, the one that I usually preferred are the one bedroom or mm -hmm. the two bedroom units, since mm -hmm. they are located in the corner, mm -hmm. um, they won't have any uh, units that are facing them. Mm -hmm. or even in any obstructions. Mm -hmm. And also the one that is in the East View mm -hmm. would be the much preferred units. Uh, I think I can share you the unit. Your, yeah. And also to add to what Brian was saying, uh, so of course, with because PIK or one share is basically uh, a different kind of a building compared to the others, which offer a bigger size, mm -hmm. then definitely they would go for the two bedrooms and one bedroom unit. And with the modern design and also with the ample amount of uh, amenities available, I would say uh, one share will stand out among the other condominiums in the mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. which would become a, uh, I would say, I would say sought after condominium as a, as a, a preferred uh, address for those expatriates in the area in Makati, in Ortigas, and in uh, Mandaluyong. So okay. continuing the discussion, um, as I mentioned, the two bedroom located here mm -hmm. is the most um, sought out uh, unit and mm -hmm. the one bedroom here as well. You can okay. also consider uh, the studio unit in the middle mm -hmm. for this one. Okay, so because of usually buying into Philippine uh, projects, right, uh, most of the units do not come with a fully furnished. So in particular in this uh, project, so roughly how much of the uh, renovations or the um, furniture costs uh, should the investor in, uh, pay uh, if they are interested to buy one and rent it out? Yeah, roughly okay. what sort of uh, expenses that? Yeah, okay. normal, normally the formula that we're using is around 30,000 pesos per square meter mm -hmm. for us to be able to upgrade the unit and also provide a decent furniture. Uh, that will make it more leasable mm -hmm. for uh, for for mm -hmm. uh, interesting for a lot of uh, potential renter. Mm -hmm. So that will be the price. Thirty thousand pesos would be how much in dollars again divided by five? 
uh, 1,500. 1,500 uh, US dollars per square meters. Okay. And the other thing that uh, the, there's one question is coming in is like the, uh, how about the property managements? Because a lot of them that are looking into uh, invest in Philippines, a majority of them are investors. So they are a bit concerning that who are going to look after the uh, properties uh, should they invest one. So uh, maybe this one, uh, I leave it to you to explain. <laughs> All right. Well, of course, uh, they should not worry because we're here. The great thing about uh, having this network of Chuai IKI or IKI Global is that, uh, of course, your investors in Malaysia, your investors in uh, in Vietnam, or investors from Canada definitely will coordinate with us to our team to take care of the property management. We can help you out from uh, fitting out your unit or furnishing your unit. At the same time, finding or marketing your property to our potential renters, and then collecting rents and making sure that your monthly dues or your taxes has been paid and up to date, as well as if there are some repairs and if there are some uh, things to be fixed in the unit, then our team will be uh, happy to assist them. So in this case, developer actually help to ap apply the team card, right? That's correct, yeah. yes. Okay. Uh, okay, the other question is like, they are asking when they invest in Philippines, are they allowed to open an account in Philippines? Definitely, they can open an account. Uh, we will try to work on that uh, together with the banks. Uh, of course, uh, that is necessary also for them to pay their, uh, what do you call this, their, their dues and also do some online banking. Uh, before, it was a little bit difficult to open an mm -hmm. account. But then right now, banks are more are receptive to the idea, especially if they have a property here. Mm -hmm. Then banks also consider the thought of they will be needing it for seamless payment of association dues and other, other things. So as long as they carry a passport and they are allowed to enter in the Philippines, they are actually allowed to open an uh, account. Any other documentations required? Is there any other documentations required? Well, one thing that uh, they need to secure eventually is the, the visa. That's why I think it's better to, uh, for them to explore the potential of having the retirement visa through investment, mm -hmm. uh, which I think will be a best way for them to to have an easy access to the Philippines, mm -hmm. as well as be able to enjoy the benefits of uh, uh, field health or healthcare benefits, as well as enjoy the benefits from the banks. Okay. And um, the other thing, probably we'll leave it to the Friday. We do not want <laughs> to mention too much about this migration thing, okay? Right. Uh, or retirement visa. So uh, for those that who are interested, remember to stay tuned with us on Friday. Okay, back to the, uh, the question is that, um, Usually, what sort of, uh, how much uh, the property management fees that you're talking about, they need to bear? Yeah, normally for the studio unit up to a small one-bedroom unit, we charge around 30,000 pesos to 40,000 pesos annually. Mm -hmm. But of course, we charge also uh, extra for, for example, if there will be some renovation or if there will be some repairs, we just factor in or we just charge the owner directly to that. Okay, great. Okay, I think some of the audience just came in. Okay, maybe might miss your uh, presentations. Again, uh, Brian, do you mind that just to highlight what are the main point or main uh, unique selling point for this particular project so that uh, some of the audience will actually take note of it and they can watch the replay later on. All right. So the main highlights for one Shara is that it is a European style. Mm -hmm. um, it's European style living. So what I want to highlight is the low density units. There are only 250 units uh, on the 30 story building. Mm -hmm. Plus um, the parking, the parking slots are kind of in innovative that they use the automated now and uh, the, the promo terms as well. Um, if you have clients that are interested, the, prom uh, the promo just runs until November of 2021. So you need to take uh, take advantage of that one as well. Yep. So for those who is interested to invest in Philippines, again, this is probably one of the um, exciting projects you can look into. And especially if you want to invest in raw rice uh, apartments, so this probably is the one. Uh, 200 plus units is actually very low density. Uh, in fact, I love it as well. So uh, compared to some of the high, higher rise of the uh, apartments project. And of course, the other thing is like European kind of concept is actually uh, yes. very rare in uh, Philippines. So again, for those that 
who wants to feel like living in European. <laughs> so perhaps this is one of the projects that you can actually consider. And again, entry price is not too high, okay? Um, starting from 9 million uh, peso onwards. So for those that who are interested, uh, can actually contact us, uh, either Brian or uh, Andrew, can also leave your contact number or PM us uh, in the comment box. We shall get back to you, okay? And send all the relevant uh, information to you. And uh, of course, before we end these presentations, again, uh, I probably need uh, Andrew's help to actually highlight to the audience again, why invest in Philippines is a potential uh, investment uh, okay. they should consider, yeah. Right, so um, of course, it's still the right time to invest in the Philippines because of number one, the infrastructures that are being built, the Mega Manila subway system, a lot of bridges are being uh, developed and new communities are also being uh, uh, improve as well as created so that there will be a much more options for a lot of Filipinos and also international investors. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, we are second uh, when it comes to re high rental yield in, in Southeast Asia. At the same time, the property appreciation. So imagine if you are, uh, I mean, if you bought a property in one share and you're not paying the, the, the 12 months yet, or maybe you're paying 5% and then spread out the, another 5% for 12 months and your money is already uh, gaining around 16% to 25% annually. So your money will not will definitely grow by investing in uh, property options here in the Philippines, especially in one share. Okay. Oh, okay. There's another uh, um, request. It's like in the events that um, if the border is open, okay, and if the investor would love to actually uh, pay a visit in the Philippines and this particular project, uh, will our IQI uh, team uh, in Philippines able to assist them? Definitely. Brian mm -hmm. will be happy to assist them. Okay, that'd be great. All right, so I guess there's no more questions. Thanks a lot for Andrew and uh, Brian for your awesome sharing and bringing us this beautiful projects. okay? Should you have any further questions, please don't uh, feel shy and leave your uh, message or your question in the comment box and we will actually revert to you uh, later. And if you want to know more about Philippine projects, you can go to our website, www.iqiglobal.com uh, or go to our IQI Philippine uh, Facebook page to find more of the uh, Philippine projects information. Or you can actually uh, contact us, okay? And remember to watch our replay if you missed the, uh, the earlier part. And don't forget to join us every Wednesday, 3 p.m. Um, next week, we're going to have another interesting uh, project to share with you. And of course, uh, this Friday, we will talk about the retirement visa, okay? And the mortgage uh, in Philippines, which is um, something new. Uh, that's going to be interest you. And remember to share it with your friends. And for those that who you think mm. that you might have a relative of, or families that who love this topic. So join us, uh, same page, okay, in IQI International Sales at 9.30 p.m. GMT plus 8 and uh, to meet us again to talk about this, all right? So do support us and like our program. And I'm Mandy Chen signing off. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.